Hey guys, I just wanted to drop a review on a product that I picked up at the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion this year. Really happy with the product so far, and so uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give it a nod. You've seen some of the some of the video already on, on what I'm talking about and what I'm focusing on, and that's actually this flag carrier that's mounted to my tire uh, today. So it's called the Freedom Flyer system, and it comes in a single, a double, and a triple uh, flag flying system that mounts directly to your spare tire. So uh, that's one of the greatest things that I can say about the, the spare tire uh, mounts and stuff is that uh, though I love watching them fly behind Jeeps, a lot of the times the reason why I hadn't purchased one yet or hadn't made one myself is because a lot of them go into your hitch. And so whenever you go into your hitch, you have this problem where if you're opening your tailgate, you've either gotta have a model that drops down on its own or you know you just kind of drop the entire unit out and you set you know your your flag and everything off to the side for a second before you get back in or you just make a note to not get into your jeep for however long that the the flag carrier is in the hitch so that you don't have to worry about fooling with it and try to get into your back and stuff so uh, with that being said you're looking at a spare mount uh spare mounted flag unit so you don't have to worry about that anymore let me show you something real quick this right here is worth its weight in gold already because I'm able to open my tailgate. I'm able to access stuff in the back so whenever I go to events, I can fly my flags, I can do anything I want to at my events with this still in place. I don't have to worry about it. If I need to haul something, I can you know, throw a ball in there and I can haul something. If um, I need to put my Jeep box back on my Jeep, which you know takes an extender and then I've gotta throw the Jeep box on there and stuff you know it's an awesome awesome thing but you know with a lot of these other flag carriers you're looking at sticking it in the hitch mount dropping it down doing different things like I've already mentioned with this system you don't have to worry about that another thing that I want to show you is that it's extremely sturdy I'm a 200 pound guy I do lift a lot of weights a lot of times I, I'm a fairly fit individual and I'm telling you right now this system's not going anywhere I drove six hours with it um, on the back and of course you know without flags or anything down an interstate but I drove for six hours with it and didn't even know it was there it doesn't rattle a whole lot it doesn't shake a whole lot um, you know because it's you know attached to a large rubber mount um, there's no metal really shaking you've got a little bit from up here but I don't ever hear those unless I hit a speed bump or something um, you know it, it's a really well put together product it's made here in the USA by a veteran who does all the uh, all the forge work at his house. So all the metal that you see that gets bent and all that other stuff that you see gets put together, he does that in American Forge, which is pretty awesome in my book. You know, you don't see a whole lot of products that are put out there like that. Of course, he does have it patented, so I wanna make sure that everybody understands that, you know, if you see this product, you can't just take it, copy it, and put it on your vehicle because um, if you're ever seen out with it, you know, there, there will be legal ramifications for that. Um, another thing uh, to, to kind of mention a little bonus feature is that the, uh, the flag staffs right here, they go up farther. So if I take out these eye bolts right here and I move them up, I can go to parade level is what he calls it. And um, you stretch that out and you get on a ladder and you put your flag on there and you know you're flying then at a parade level uh design so he he really kind of thought this through and also um if you don't even want to do that if you just want to stretch stretch it all the way out and stuff you can put a bolt a small bolt just through the uh, the top here where your eye bolt would go and uh you can fly the biggest flag that you can fit on the back of this thing so that's that's a really awesome feature and stuff so um, but it's been a great product. Like I said, I've had it for about a month now. I've been I've been building video footage of it um, with my drone. Been trying to you know see how it does at events. Whenever I drive around town, I put my flags on and stuff, and uh, it really seems to uh, really seems to help out. So uh, we're really looking forward to keeping this product around. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Um, he does do uh, military discount and stuff, uh, if, if you ask and stuff, but I'm sure to confirm. He was asking for military IDs whenever we were at, um, whenever we were at the invasion, so you might possibly have to send, you know, DD-214 something to confirm that you're a veteran, so he'll give you that military discount. So, 
Um, but as always, we like to support our veterans, of course, with Maverick and stuff. Uh, we do stuff with Mission 22 um, constantly. But anyway, uh, we just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Thank you guys so much for, for watching this video, taking the time and stuff. I really hope this helps you out. You know, if you're looking for a flag carrying system and you own a Jeep or you have a, uh, you know, a fifth spare tire on the back of your vehicle, um, you know, it's a great system to use. Uh, like I said, I, I can't say enough about it because, you know, I, I'm able to functionally use my vehicle still without giving up the ability to get in my tailgate. So that, that was like the biggest thing that sold it on me. So anyway, you guys have a great one. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'll see you guys down the trail.